Hi, this is Diana from Second Half Dreams. In my first crossword puzzle video, I showed you how to make a crossword puzzle template page. In this video, I'll show you how to make a crossword puzzle. This is the crossword puzzle page template that I made in the last video. And this is the puzzle that I'm going to put inside it. Before I do that, I just wanted to point out that I did not design this puzzle. I really don't want to get into designing crosswords. So I make my crosswords with this Puzzles genera Generator software that you can purchase. And I purchased a few of the puzzles. And I'll show you how to create a crossword puzzle. So I just go ahead and select the Access Now for a crossword. Then create a crossword, type in a name, press Create, press View, and then upload the file that contains the puzzle, the puzzle's clues and answers. And to be honest, coming up with a Clues and answers, in my opinion, is really the longest part of doing a crossword puzzle. And then there's some settings you can play with. You can change the font, change the trim size, font sizes, and some of the colors. I don't really want to mess with that in this tutorial, but I just want to show you that really quick. And then once you're happy with the puzzle, you can download it either as a PNG, JPEG, PowerPoint, or a PDF file. So going back to this puzzle over here, I want to first make sure that it's going to fit inside of this 15 by 15 grid. So to do that, I'm just going to count the squares going across and down. So going across, we have 7, 8, 9, 10 squares going across. And then going down, we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 squares going down. So it's a 10 by 14 puzzle grid. So I'm going to go over here and actually I'm just going to delete all the columns and rows that I don't need. So I only need 10 columns going across. So I'm selecting the first two columns, going to cell styles, making them blank. And then I'll select these last three columns and make them blank too. And I think I'll just go ahead and add the borders that each side is missing. And then I'm going to remove this bottom row because that other puzzle has just 14 rows going down and this one has 15. So I'll make the bottom row blank and then add in all four borders. And let me see, I just, I think I did a little bit too much here. So I'll just make that blank and then add in the border. There we go. And now let's go back to this puzzle and I'm going to start putting in the letters and numbers. And when I do these puzzles, I actually print out the PDF so I have it in front of me so I'm not jumping between screens. But for this puzzle, I'm going to start with Jackson because it's the J starts in the top row and it's two columns in. So that's easy for me to remember. So I'm going to go over here and go to the top row, second column in and type in Jackson. And I'm just going to refer to the printout on my desk rather than jumping back and forth. That'll, that'll be a lot quicker for this video. So over here I have Lincoln, L-I-N-C-O-L-N. Lincoln, and then going down here I have Columbia. And then going across here I have Madison. Salem is going down here. And let me see what else I have. I have Austin, which uses this I, so A-U-S-T-I-N. Whoops. And then fix that. And then the last one is Lansing, which uses this S. So I'm going to go Oops, let me see if I move that under resize columns. Yeah, again, if you ever make a mistake, just undo it. It's not a big issue. Lansing, so I think I have all the words in. And then I'm just going to change the clue words down here. And I'm sure you noticed my clues are the names of the states and the 
answers up here are the state capitals, but I want to check one more thing first. Okay, so the clue numbers are not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's 1, 2, 6, 8, 3, 4, 5, 7. So I just want to make sure I do the same. And right now I'm referring to the piece of paper on my desk. And then going down, we have Texas, Oregon, number five is Mississippi, and the last one is South Carolina. And now I want to enter the clue numbers up here. So again, I'm going to refer to my printout, and we'll just start with number one, Michigan. So I'm going to select the number one, and move it to Lansing, and kind of just nudge things over. So I got Lansing, and then Lincoln is number eight, or number six. Number six, actually my eyes are kind of bad, so I'm having a hard time seeing the little numbers on the printout. So Lincoln, and then four is Salem. Madison is number eight. And then let's see, we have Austin up here, and that's number three. Up here we have Jackson, and that's number five. And then two, oops, I forgot to type in Juno. Juneau, Alaska, so let's just do that really quick. Juneau, okay, so that's number two across. Two across, and let's see, we need to do Columbia, so that's number seven, or take seven. And that should do it. So let me just double check my printout, make sure I have all the numbers in. So I have one, three, five, six, seven, two, and eight. And then this nine is extra, so I'll just delete it. Okay, so now we have the basic puzzle. Now I need to um, just remove all these borders. So I'm going to just go ahead and select all the cells that don't need borders and make them blank. And if you want to make them black, you can click on black instead. And I think I have that. Um, I'll just double check. Okay, I need to do some here to make those blank. Okay, so now I'm just going to add borders in for all the cells that have letters. So I'll click four borders. Actually, I think, yeah, that one needs to be blank, so I just made it blank. I'll do the borders again, and then Salem has the borders. And I still made this messed up on this one, so let me make it blank again. And just this one needs a border. Okay, and then Juno needs a border. Okay, so I think we have the basic puzzle. And let me just go ahead and change this to state capitals. And actually, this is the puzzle solution. So I need to um, make the puzzle without the words inside it. So what I'm going to do is press W so I can see my margins and make a copy of this by just 
selecting everything and then hitting copy and paste and then I'll just move this everything up there press W again okay so now I have the solution here and then we'll put the puzzle here and obviously if you're making a puzzle book you wouldn't have the solution and the puzzle on the same page you would pro probably have several pages of puzzles and then the solutions in the back of the book but now let me just go ahead and select all these letters and press delete 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 and what's kind of nice is that the numbers aren't getting deleted it's just the letters And there you go. This completes the crossword puzzle tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below the video.